that tone, it's a real money in the room. Speaking of um, OG Blabber, I saw another video you did on OG Booby Black. Oh, I figured you were going to come with this. Now, Booby Black, you know, is somebody I actually got an opportunity to meet Booby Black. Scary guy in person. He's tall, one arm, kind of fly, and dark skin. You know what I'm saying? Scary guy, uh, but cool guy. Um, I watched the first video you did. You, you actually spoke on him on Real Tune TV before. You talked about how he got his arm shot off. Um, you know, how he was one of the OGs in the Magnolia. Um, how you learned a lot of things from him um, as a young stepper, looking up to him as an older stepper. Um, but then in the video that you did, you alluded to him uh, breaking the code of the streets. Even though he was one of those who had um, stood on business behind the code of the streets. Um, as a matter of fact, you showed how um, Booby would go in your DMs and um, to use vanish mode and unsend messages. Um, it was shocking to me. I've never seen him as that type of guy. You know, it's either he rocks with you or he don't. You know, I understand how, you know, he has his reputation to protect and this may take away from his reputation, but, you know, I just didn't see that coming from him. I just thought he didn't see the Internet. I thought he ignored the Internet. You know what I mean? Um, apparently, he didn't ignore the Internet. Um, but f first question is, what, what made you um, decide to address because you could have been if if you had any information on booby black as a snitch you could have been took him out but instead you came in the game kind of you know showing him love you actually built his character up i didn't know booby black before you spoke on him you know what i'm saying and then i went to looking at him and seeing he was with kevin gates and so on and so forth so what what made you in a sense turn on booby black i can answer now you know, you got a long question, bro. First of all, I want to correct you on, I never say that I, I learned from him and looked at him. Oh, no, I never say that. I want to correct you on that. Him and I ran together. He was out there before me, but we was running side by side, right. partners, homies, you know, whatever the case may be. Now, the next thing, a young dude told me, told me this in the penitentiary, and I used to try to wrestle with this for a long time. Right. I would tell him, he would tell me, man, everybody wear a mask. And I was like, nah, then you say, bro, everybody wear a mask. They're not, a person not gonna tell you everything they've done in life, but everybody wear a mask. Right. So I used to be like, nah, that ain't true, they're trying to buck it. But I go back to what you say that Booby didn't come across as the type of person that would pay attention to the internet or hit a person up, he do. Everybody wear a mask. When I first come home, Booby, well, when I was in jail and Booby was in the state, he would reach out to me. What's up with Giddy? He had a little cell phone, give me the number, call him and talk to him. We kicked it. Right. He got out, found him a wave, and saw what was going on, saw that it was a little separation with us. He chose that side. Just like how Dickie Minaj had that song, Pick a Side. No fraud, pick a side. He picked a side. Mm. He went with the movement. With the cash money, you know, hot them, they hot, they doing anything, I'm over here. Right. Okay, you a street dude, you ain't really got nothing to offer me, nothing you can beat it. Right? Right. Okay, fine. I come home, I'm learning about the, um, what to call that thing, Instagram. Hit them up. What's up, boy? I'm, I just got out yesterday, holler at me, boy, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm thinking it's still love because when he was in jail, he used to tell gangs to call me, what's up again, how you doing? Da, 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 da. Right. So now, it's different. All right, cool, I ain't tripping. Got me a little job, I'm just minding my business. Get on the internet. So now they see I'm, I got a wave going. They see I'm, my name starting to like, oh. Now they paying attention now. Because I know a lot of people's secrets. I was right there with them. I know about it. I was in a mud with you. But I'm gonna let you be right now. Go ahead, enjoy yourself. So now, um, when I did my first story about how Booby played me with the girl writing a letter in jail, he hit me in the DM. And 
I looked at it, it was gone. Oh, what's that, what the world? So he had to do it on vanish mode, I didn't know about it. So I said, okay, I got something for him. So I hit him back, he hit me back. I took my other phone and took a picture of it. So I could be like, okay, I got you now. Because you hit him with the triple cross. Yeah, let me double cover the triple cross. <laughs> right. So what happened was, because when I look back at the, the, the conversation him and I had, right. his initial, when he reached out to me, he erased that one. He took that off. So now if you go into my DM and pull his and pull out his conversation, that first initial kick it in with the strong, that's gone. So because you know you can remove a, something from when you send somebody. Yeah, you can unsend. Right, he only did me. But it already got it on, I already took a picture of it. So I got it over here. Like, oh, okay. He was ahead of me because he know the game already. Right. His internet stuff. You learning. I'm learning, but, but I you learn fast. fast. You learn fast. quick. Big facts. So I started listening to his interviews, looking at his interviews, checking out what he's doing. Then I noticed when he talking certain stuff about the hot boy Magnolia, he not putting me in his loop because he want to impress Hot Bezo, Tonto, Cito, all the, the people over here on this side. He want to impress them. So like I always say, bro, you can hide history, you can't erase it. When you talk about that Magnolia Third World Uptown, whatever, gangster going to be involved. Me used to run together, we used to be together. So because you're trying to impress them, and you, but you want to let the world know you gangster, now don't get it twisted. A gangster going to slain that iron, fight good, where well, he used to, you know, he lost, but he used to fight, slain that iron, get, he did all that. I'm not taking none of that from him. But he committed a sin. He committed a grave sin. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so, um, you want the story what happened to? <laughs> we already five minutes old, so what you want to do? <laughs> you want to die? Well, let's go. So what, what, what happened? You got me, you recorded? Yeah, with the sin. So, so, okay, so this Black one. committed the sin right. in the streets. Right. What was the sin? Like, how did he actually? He snitched. He told. Booby Black. Yeah, OG Booby Black told. And here's the thing. Start with myself first because my ears are the closest. We all knew about this. A lot of us. When you say we all, can you? Hi Bezo, uh, Cito, Tanto, they all know about this sin they committed. And they all follow one another right down to this day. When I, all right, in 91, I broke out of juvenile jail. My co defendant George went AWOL from juvenile jail. What's AWOL? Back then, they used to be like, if you had juvenile life, and if you stayed out of trouble for a while, juvenile life would tell you 21. Like, if you were 15 years old, 15 to 18, 19, whatever, and you stayed out of trouble, they'd let you go home on a furlough, meaning like, you go home that Friday, come home Sunday. But you gotta come back and do the rest, you know what I'm saying? Stay out of let you go home. But so people go AWOL, they, let them go on that Friday, they don't show up that Sunday. They just, I ain't going back. Let the people catch me. You know what I'm saying? I, I committed another crime because you're a juvenile. So they be like, okay, he gonna get in trouble again. So that's what just happened back then. So I broke out though. I didn't get a furlough because my comment was on, give me three more, give me, my case back, give me three more, give me 90, give me 90 more days. Okay, I'm a, I'm a minimum. I was, I'll start on max because I had a robbery. Then I went to medium. Then I was trying, I was supposed to get my minimum in. Minimum in and minimum out is when you go on furloughs. So uh, nine you months. Where? You go out on a furlough, I mean like you go out on a home pass. Right. So you get privileges. Right. For staying out of trouble in juvenile jail. Right. She kept telling me, give her 90, 90 I don't have 90 days to keep giving you, ma'am, because of this. New Orleans was so deep up there in Baker, Louisiana, it's like that right there in Baton Rouge, right by Baton Rouge, right? We were so deep there to where we used to fight one another. Third wall fight the ninth wall. So the third one or ten, we used to click up and gang fight get the ninth wall. So you you bound to lose your custody. And I'm like, lady, I don't get out, this is like 91, well, I don't get out to 96 for number one. And number two, we beef with this night war, it's down, bound to go down and I can lose my cousin. You keep talking about getting you 30. I won't. So I broke out, me, Bryce, Bryce, Toto, Jeepers, Big Lou. Bryce, Toto, Jeepers, Big Lou and myself, five of us broke out. 
Out of the five that broke out, two of us still living. Wow. So, um, while we home, while I'm home, my co defendant George, who's in Angola right now, he he get a pass. He got a furlough, so he come home. He went. Hey, he didn't go back. So now we we back to get on the street. We had a project, right? Right. Mike, Mike, from out the mail for me, party, I got a picture of him posted on the video. Light skin dude. Um, he go a wall. He don't go back. Now, me and my best friend Hank, we in a Cali project one day, and Mike Mike was by a female house. He was like, man, who's a well little gangster? And I was behind, like we walked up the sidewalk, but I'm behind my best friend Hank, best with this female, and Mike Mike in the cut. He said, he right there. I said, what's up, boy? Give him that hug. We exchange number. Are oh, we going to meet at Booker T Dance tonight? All right, cool. We hook up. Because Mike got the Melphamine project. We in the Magnolia project. So Mike Mike come back here by me and George, my co-defendant. So we all hanging out. Mike Mike. Uncle gave him a gun. So me and Mike Mike walked from the Magnolia Project to the Cadillo Project one night, and we got a long 4 4 thumb cocker. And we got a 357 thumb cocker. Then we still got a street sweep. We got Mac 11. We started getting guns, collecting, because at the time, the third ward, which is the Mac, really Magnolia and the Melphamine was beefing with the tent ward. Tent ward was becoming, bringing that drown. He's been bringing that heat. So now we come home now. We like, what's going on? All right, we. We about to get in, we about to entertain this stuff, you know what I'm saying? This is what we do. So, um. Steppers done got out of jail. Yeah, we out. So, we about to start stepping. So, we about to match this stuff. They were coming, they were bringing that noise. I ain't gonna they were bringing that noise to these projects. So, um, you know, we come home and start, you know, let's get them, let's get it. Um, and we collected guns, right? But I'm on the run. So, I got caught in January, got a fake name, and got out. I got caught again in February with a gun this time. I gave them. Uh, my real name but the older date of birth, I went to the adult jail. So I stayed there for eight months. They found out who I was. They sent me back to juvenile jail. But while I'm locked up, Bouncer, man, Bouncer just passed away two days ago. Uh, big Bouncer come to me. He said, uh, look, gangsta, I said, what's up? He said, man, Boobin just got uh, busted by the Fed. I said, what? Yeah, man. Oh, all right. Call home, see what's going on. Got guns and drugs. All right. Mike Mike wanted for murder. Mike Mike and George been locked up in Angola since 19, well not Angola, but they been locked up since 1992, they ain't in Angola now. They been locked up since right. April of 1990, March or April of 1992 for a murder they didn't commit. But the feds had kicked in the door and got Mike Mike, cause Mike Mike and Booby was running together. Right. Booby had come home, so they running together. Mike Mike and Booby, so they had Booby uncle house. So when the feds kicked in the door, for the drugs, some kind of drugs or something happened, it's Booby Uncle House. So when they get the guns, because Mike Mike was hiding out and he was, he was wanted for the murder. So they get the guns and drugs, Booby said, well, that's his gun and drugs, that ain't mine, that's for him. So while I'm out, I cut your murder and attempt murder. Homicide come get me from juvenile jail to bring me to the old parish for the murder, well, for the, for the murder first. When I got into the holding cell, they charged me with the tent murder. I had shot a dude around the club, Club 49, out the tent wall. So what happened, man, when I go to OPP, Old Parish Prison, jail where the adults at, the Red Band, I go out up on C3 and I got my mattress and they got the lights off in the day room. So I hear a dude say, hey, go get him, get him. I'm like, yeah, come on, get him. But I'm scared because I'm like, I'm a juvenile. I just got to this adult jail and they got a little thing that calls you now into the real jail. And this is where it be going down all the violent criminals at. So they didn't put me in here. And I got somebody to come out. They go get them playing with me already. So I kept walking and going to my cell. But I go in the cell, right? I see some felines. I said, it might be Mike. So it's a, but the dude kind of big laying the baby. He got his he facing the wall. So I'm about to jump on, boy, what's up? But I'm like, boy, I'm about to jump on this dude. This ain't my homeboy. Man, don't tell him what's going to happen in this cell because it's a four-man cell. So I'm standing over Mike, Mike, putting the man. I don't know it's Mike, Mike at the time. I don't know this is my friend, my homie right here, my big bro. Because he laying in the bed when he got the thing covering his eyes and he got his back to the wall. So I'm standing right here putting my matches up on the top bunk over him. So he hear the movement. He turned around. Boy, what's up? I was happy to see this, my bro. So he got up. Listen. Don't be talking about your kid. He started giving me the game on in this adult jail. We got up. They cut the lights on because it's about to be count time. 
I never forget this, we making a moly. He got mad because I didn't know how to make the moly. I was just watching him. He had to yeah. take a little dang green slipper, beat the M&Ms up, fine, fine. The candy bars, the cookies, beat the cookies. He said, man, you know what Booby told on me? I said, what? What? That boy said, what? I said, man, get out of here. He said, hold on, he pulled his box out. Give me the paperwork, I read it. I read the statement Booby gave. So what happened, Booby found out I'm back in the parish down here, he write me a letter. Right. Man, what's up with Mike, Mike? Tell me I told on him, he telling him all I read it. I'm a real in, I don't do no random. I write him back, Booby. I'm in a cell with Mike, Mike, I read the statement. He write me back, yeah, but we took our own charge. All right. This 92, 93, I get out. Booby get out the feds. He got out the feds like 93, 94 somewhere. Um, he get out. I supposed to touch him. But I got so much love because it's the homie. You know what I'm saying? We used to run together and all this. And I'm like, man. Let's pause for a second right there because you uh -huh. said a lot. He snitched, mm -hmm. but they took their own charge. That's what he meant by that. When they first got busted, that's tune stuff. All right, I didn't give you the statement. These people got the statement. Terrence Gangster Williams said that's tune guns, that's tune cameras and lights. Now we're in jail now. When they go and get sentenced, Mike Mike and the parish fighting the murder, so he go over to the Fed. Booby and his cousin or whatever already got sentenced. So Mike telling them, and he said, well, look, man, I'm going to go to trial. Y'all y'all already got, y'all might want to take the charge. Man, we can't do that. They already sentenced us. So Booby and them got sentenced for that case. Right. All three of them, they all got sentenced the same day. Except the one that was going to trial. Well, Mike Mike was going, all right, Booby and his cousin got sentenced first, that earlier that day. Right. Mike might come over from Paris, so because they took the plea deal, right? They all t right. They take a plea deal, but Mike said to go to trial. So it happened when they over there. Uh, no, no. They didn't, now this is the day he got sentenced. This is the day Booby played guilty. Him and his cousin they played guilty, whatever. But they over there. So Mike telling them, "Look, man, I'm fighting this murder over here. Y'all already played guilty to these guns over here. Y'all might well take this here. Cause y'all already." But Booby and them not like, man, we can't. Because now, for real, for real, we play guilty, but we're going to come and testify on you now. We're going, we going home. That's how the Fed work, right? So uh, the only reason why I'm not going to do this is because I was told from Angola to stand down, right? So I had recordings. I had a, I, I, I pulled a Turk. Um, I had recordings. I had a lot of stuff of me talking to a certain person that was like, yeah, I got the paper. I got all this, this, this. So I got some stuff, right? One of the dudes like, hey, leave that alone, fall back. Another dude like, man, I ain't worrying about that. But I'm like, listen, bro, Booby out here living his life. The homies in there, he ain't doing nothing for him. Man, nah, he wrong. Yeah, but stand down. So I'm like, oh, he might be looking out for you too. What are you talking about? Stand down. All right, cool. But... It just irritates the mess out of me when I see him on these day. Oh yeah, you a rat and a real dude. Da, 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 da. Bro, you ratted too, bro. Stop it. Now if you take the middle course, you know, you know, well, y'all need to leave this alone and this, this, this. You know, I was in the game, but I ain't cool. But when you go to being too extra, you a rat and a real dude this and you man, come on, bro. Stop it, five. Cut it out, bro. You told to. Well, but everybody, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Let's just go here. Mm -hmm. let's, let's go with Hot, right? If mm -hmm. Hot, as you say, knows this about Booby, mm -hmm. um, and he used to run with you. Like, y'all were close. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But it was no embracing gangster. You know what I'm saying? But there's an embracement of Booby Black. You know what I mean? What, what is the difference? It's a diff there? The big difference. The world don't know about Booby Black sin. The world know about me. So we can't embrace you because you are the internet. Everybody know about you. Booby told when it, when this everything was dinosaurs, we had beepers, prime code phone, flip phone. When it was my bad, what you my prime code for? It was the flip phone back then, the little Motorola. Yeah, switched the Motorola to a prime code phone right so, back when they switched. Right. Yeah. So we all know to go further. Mike Mike calls home, talks to 
how Bezos used to talk to Big Jesus, talk to all these, because we all family. So they know, but they look at that like, oh, that's something minor. We ain't, that was back in the day. So really, Booba been told when we was adolescents, when we were youngsters, he told. Right. But like I say, it's favoritism. The homie in Angola not warm because the homie in Angola got a life of murder. That little 27 months he got in the fair, he ain't tripping off that. But he's like, you know what? I don't care nothing about that. I'm over here. I'm fighting his life sentence. But the thing is, out here with the way the internet going, you got people that's looking up the dudes, following these dudes, street dudes, real dudes, following this guy, and they thinking he stood on all 10 his whole life when he didn't. Mm. That's just my thing. You know what I'm saying? So, and then here's another thing. Yeah, I'm going to bring it up because we, you ain't cool with me. Why I'm going to spare you? We ain't cool. You don't holler at me. You don't embrace me. You don't do none of that. You want to impress these people. And I know your dirty laundry. I know your secrets. Man, bro, stop playing. But I'm going to put this. I got overwhelming evidence. The homie ain't goalless. No, chill out. Don't do that. All right, but I'm still gonna talk about it. Now, if the people go do their thorough homework and go digging up stuff, see, here's the thing. I'm gonna give one more hint. When Booby got arrested by the Fed, he didn't get arrested under his real name. He used the alias name. Now, when you pull up the indictment, you're gonna see the, his real name, his alias name, his real name. You're gonna see the gun case and all that. So a dude hit me in the DM and say, look, Booby sent me, he told me to show you this here. They got sentenced on the same day he got the most time. I ain't miss me with that. I already saw the statement he gave. First, when I told the dude, in the Fed, we don't look at that. That little thing. Tell him to give you his sentencing transfer, his PSI. Tell him to send you that. I know what to look for. Miss me with that, boy. You coming to the wrong one with this bull crap, in other words. Yeah. Fall back, bro. Leave me alone, bro. Don't bring this stuff to me because I know. Listen, this is not something somebody told me. This is something I read with my own eyes. He know I know. Right. But like I say, bro, um... I'm not gonna go further with it because you know first thing somebody gonna say you know you made up this paperwork because they got people that have made up paperwork on me, typing stuff up. So I'm just telling people y'all go here this way y'all go get it from and do y'all do what y'all do. Right. Um, but I did put it out there. Um, who knows? One day I might make up and be like you know what, this is what it is right here. Here y'all go. You know. He go to he go to recordings. He go to paperwork. I might make up. I might wake up on one. You know, or I might wake up in in in, in, in a YouTube uh, check not looking too good and be like, you know what, you've been exposed. <laughs> drop that. It's, it's time. Time to drop. Right. <laughs> you never know with me, man. Right. Right. Um. Finesse. Hey, real tone. It's a real money in the room.